morning welcome back uh today as i'm sure you can tell i'm only eating christmas food for 24 hours now usually when i film these videos i pre-buy the food um in advance so that i can wake up on the day and in my jammies eat my breakfast at the breakfast table and all is fun and well i've lost track of time with the whole vlogging situation if you didn't know i'm trying to vlog every day in november i've already missed one day and i have a feeling i'm going to get behind and miss one more day pretty soon however However, I'm proud of myself with how many videos I've put up, so I'm just gonna give myself a pat on the back and not feel bad about it. So it's the morning of me filming this video and I have no food, so I'm starving, but we're gonna go shopping now. I'm gonna take you around the shops. We're gonna go get some Christmas food. I really feel like I need to get some breakfast and come back. Maybe I'll eat my breakfast in the car. That's a good idea. I'll grab some breakfast, we'll eat it in the car, we'll keep shopping. I'll see what I can do. Anyway, really must go. As I said, blooming starving I am. Blooming starving. How cute is this? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. How cute. This is not just food, this is Amina's Christmas food. There's so many things to choose from. I'm honestly not too sure what to get. <gasps> oh, tartlets. That makes me think of friends. I've got a bit of buble on in the background and so much to choose from. We have a solar system advent calendar, underwear's woolly one, chocolate flavour cream liqueur. I don't have my ID with me so I can't get any alcohol but that looks amazing. This is a little um, chocolate box but it lights up. How cute. Look at these little snombles. I feel like I have to get some of these. These look amazing. Not Christmas related at all, but these are sweet potatoes. They look normal size until you realize that's a normal sweet potato. How huge is that? Okay, how's my makeup? Um, ooh, for once it is not half in the mask. I tried my absolute best not to move my face much. When I have a mask on, I keep moving my jaw. I don't mean to, but it's really bad. So. M&S is done, we're gonna start the video now, and then I'm gonna start eating now. I realize the video's already been going, but I'm gonna eat one of these. Wait, which way up? This way. So this is one of the M&S Christmas range sandwiches. Brie and cranberry always makes me think of Christmas. It's one of my favorites. I couldn't find any breakfast. I am starving, so I'm just gonna have, I'm just gonna have brie and cranberry. I'm gonna open this, I'm gonna wash my hands quickly with some anti-back, my first Christmas treat. Mm. It's the time of the year when the brie and cranberry sandwiches come out and the chicken and stuffing sandwiches come out. Mm. The best. When we walk through the door, we've already got some cute display. But also, they have Christmas tree crisps. This counts as Christmassy, right? <laughs> I can get some Christmas root veggies, right? There's a, there's a little pink one. Oh, that's cute. This is sweet. They have a little Christmas free from selection. That's really cute. Does, uh... Almond and oat milk count as Christmas? Fig, honey and walnut. Sounds delicious, not even too sure. <gasps> Hazelnut Christmas pudding. I don't even know if I like Christmas pudding, but they make me want it. Um, little disappointed with Waitrose. Not gonna lie, I bought three items. One of them being vegetables that aren't Christmassy, but they are Christmas vegetables, but they weren't even in the Christmas section. So I bought two items from the Christmas section in Waitrose. Little disappointed. I'm not gonna show you what I bought until I get home and I eat it. Um, they had bits and bobs. The main thing that they had in their Christmas range was Christmas pudding. Um, they had lots of different flavors of Christmas pudding, which is great, but I don't love Christmas pudding. So there's a guy watching me, I'm gonna go. Chicken waffles, what? What are these like? Hello. Which advent calendar would you choose? <gasps> and Frere Rocher, oh my goodness. They have free from advent calendars as well. How amazing. Oh my goodness. This might be the cutest penguin I've ever seen. <gasps> oh my gosh. There isn't too much taking my fancy. Okay, I think I got everything. I got a giant kinder egg, which, wait a second is almost the size of my head. Um, I don't know if these have been around for ages. It's got a moose on it, so, you know, and snow, so I'm gonna say it's Christmassy. I don't know if this has been around for ages, but I got one because it's massive and I'm excited to see what's inside of it. I'm gonna drive home now, I'm gonna make myself some lunch because it is actually a little bit later. I had the 
my breakfast sandwich, which by the way, I didn't even tell you whether it was good or not. It was good, it was a great sandwich. I feel like it was layered nicely, it tasted great. It was a good, it was a good sandwich. But my breakfast sandwich was probably an hour or so ago. So I am actually feeling like I want some lunch. And so I'm gonna pop home, I'm gonna unpack everything and I'm gonna have some lunch. Okay, I am home. I've pretty much just walked through the front door. I want some of these. <laughs> I saw these in Tesco and as soon as I saw them, I put them in my basket and then I was like, I need to get home. I need to try some of these. They look so good. They look like cheese puffs, but they're turkey and stuffing bites. So I just, I need to eat these now. They don't smell quite how I'd want them to smell. My hair is in the way, sorry. I do need to put it up, just give me a chance. Uh oh. I think I'm gonna go through this whole bag. <gasps> mm. If you see these in Tesco, grab yourself a bag. They taste amazing. They taste, oh! If you've ever tried roast chicken flavored crisps, they taste kind of similar to that, but with like a hint of stuffing and they're a little puffy ball shape. So the texture is just brilliant. Mmm. I also got these crisps from Waitrose, but look what shape these are. <gasps> Oh my goodness, they're so cute. They're little tortilla chips, but they're, they're, they're Christmas tree shaped. Mmm, mmm, mmm. These are so tasty. So as a lot of you know, I recently got told that I have TMJ or TMJD or TMD. I, my jaw, it hurts sometimes, but I'm not used to it yet in the sense that when I first got like diagnosed, my symptoms were just ringing in my ears. Um, my jaw wasn't actually painful whatsoever. Then uh, they diagnosed me and then after that, like a few weeks after that, I had jaw pain when I woke up. It went throughout the day and then more weeks passed and that kind of happened again. And I was like, oh, that's fine. Like I can deal with this, it's fine. But the last two to three weeks, my jaw has not stopped hurting. Um, and I'm not used to that yet. And I don't know if that's a forever thing. So when I've just eaten those crisps downstairs, it's actually started to irritate my jaw. And I'm like, I don't know, does that mean I can never eat crisps again? Is that it? Am I done for crisps? So if you have TMJ or you have TMJD or whatever you want to class it as, please let me know. Is this like a flare up or is this a forever thing? Because I really don't want to never have hard food again. I would really like to be allowed a crisp when I want a crisp. It is now lunchtime, so I have picked out 10 molten cheddar cheese profiteroles. They're from m and I have never had cheese in a profiterole. I love profiteroles, but like with cream in them and chocolate sauce, never had cheese in them. So we're basically just gonna pop these in the oven for eight minutes and then we should have some molten cheese profiteroles and I will let you know how they taste. It just, it smells like sweet shoe pastry. So to put cheese with it, I'm, I don't know what to expect. Hot. Mmm, mmm, they are yummy. I have burnt my tongue. And it tastes like, kind of like Dairy Lee Dunker's cheese. Like, you know the cheese that you dunk the little stick into? It kind of tastes exactly like that. And just with pastry, but you can't really taste the pastry. Cheese is the overriding flavor. They're good though, they're good. This is more what my first one was like, and I feel like that's a nice amount of cheese. This is just a whole ton of cheese. And I think this one's too much, but this is delicious. Christmas pudding is done. I have no idea how to get this lid off without burning myself. My parents love Christmas pudding. My mum especially loves a Christmas pudding. And I recognize the smell and I'm not the biggest fan of the smell. So this is what it looks like. I'm sure to lots of you just like, yeah, Christmas pudding, delicious. I'm gonna tip it out. Oh, oh, it does look quite cute, doesn't it? That's okay. It does look quite cute, but here we go. Trying Christmas pudding, kind of for the first time. It's weird. I don't really like it, but I want to eat some more. That's not normal, surely. <laughs> How can you not like something and want to put more in your mouth? Not the biggest fan of it. Can't seem to stop eating it. While we're here, I just remembered today is the day that I put alcohol across my Christmas cake that I baked in the other video. So I'm gonna go get my cake out. I'm gonna alcohol it. This is my Christmas cake. 
wrapped in a bit of cling film. So I'm just gonna get the alcohol out. It just says to do two tablespoons every week. No, every two weeks. Two tablespoons every two weeks. Wow, that smells almondy. I think the holes that I made have closed up because the liquid is just sitting on the top. <gasps> no, wait, okay, it's starting to go in. Very, very slowly going down. Look, can you see the bubbles here? It's very slowly sinking in. Change my hair again. I've put it into plaits just to keep it out of my way, but they're a little bit uneven. I don't know what's going on with those. Anyway, okay, I'm getting a little bit peckish, so I have these two snacks. They are both from Tesco. One of them is cinnamon, Ooh, pardon me. <laughs> hey. Pardon me. Pardon me. <laughs> One of them is this bag of cinnamon crunch pretzels, which look to be in star shape. So I'm very intrigued about those. And cinnamon flavored pretzels, I'm very interested in. And then these are called Lebkuchen stars. I'm gonna guess that's how you pronounce it. It says that it's German inspired. So I'm thinking, and I'm sure you'll let me know, that these might be a German uh, like holiday treat, like a Christmas treat. It smells cinnamony, looks, beautiful but smells a little burnt cinnamony so let's see what this tastes like oh oh delicious the bag smells a little burnt cinnamon they just taste like beautiful light sugary fluffy cinnamon this mm. this is what they look like and they have a chocolate underbelly they've got chocolate on the bottom and they're quite hard and I'm wondering, is it soft in the middle? Is it airy in the middle? I'm just gonna bite into it. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, it's soft, it's soft. I wouldn't actually know what to compare it to in the UK. It's kind of like a cake biscuit, more than a biscuit. It's more like a cake. Mmm. It is dinner time. And for dinner, let's look in the fridge. Two things, plus some um, vegetables, which you're not that bothered about there i got some i got some carrots and some parsnips they're christmas to me i got some banging cauliflower nuggets <laughs> they're not just they're not just cauliflower nuggets they're banging cauliflower nuggets and they're vegan friendly and they look really yummy so that's my veggies for this evening and then i also got this from tesco tesco finest i got some chicken and waffles i'm pretty sure when we were in australia i had chicken on waffle, I really, or egg on waffle, or I had something on waffle. I don't remember where I've had chicken and waffle, but I swear I have. No, no, I remember. It was, a, it was a Christmas event with maybe Body Shop or something, and we had chicken on waffle, and me and Soph were both eating it like, what's happening? <laughs> what is this? Because the chicken was like barbecue flavored, and the waffle was sweet and it was just a bit weird. So this looks tasty, but in my brain I'm thinking, is it gonna be tasty? I've got some more stuff to eat. Shall I eat one of these things now? Should we, should we eat something now? Nick's after some of these. They are chocolate orange Very truffles. Chocolate and orange cake truffles. Oh, they smell, mm -mm. That There's an underlying hint of something else. Really bad? Not really bad, I just don't like them. It's got almond in there too. That's probably why I don't like oh, it. Oh, I love that. Is it almondy? It tastes a bit of almond, yeah? What have you got? Let's have a look. If you like chocolate orange, that's not chocolate <laughs> orange. That's more like chocolatey, fruitcakey-ness. If you were to pick a chocolate out of a chocolate box and it said fruitcake chocolate, that's what you'd get. Mm. It's not really chocolate orange. I'm not the biggest fan of that. I don't know what ombles are, but I bought these. I shouldn't really be eating this before dinner. Should probably eat dinner first. I'm not though. I have picked up my ombal by the mouth. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Smells of white chocolate. Smells of really yummy white chocolate. I almost don't want to bite into him though. He's very, very tasty. Dinner is ready. It's a very beige looking dinner. Um, so, I've got waffles, I've got chicken, I've got cauliflower. I'm first gonna make up some of these waffles. So, we take waffle, chicken, and then we cover it in this sauce. I'm just gonna go for it. I will say, the waffles smell sweet. Oh, it's dripping. The waffles smell sweet. 
which is just weird to me. I know it's sweet chili, but chicken, like savory chicken and sweet waffle, I'm not too sure how I feel about it. I'm going to try and take a bite as elegantly as I can. It's spicy. It tastes mainly of chili and chicken. And then every now and again, there's this little spark of like icing sugar flavor. Just every now and again, it's, I don't dislike it. It's yummy food, but I don't know if I'm up for the whole sweet and savory together situation in this case. I feel like I'd rather eat the chicken and then have the waffles for dessert. So we have my cauliflower looking like this. I'm gonna dip it into this, which I believe is very much barbecue sauce. Mmm, this is tasty. Ooh, yeah, this is really good. This does not taste like a vegetable at all. What we call Kinder Eggs has now changed to Kinder Joy, and this is Kinder Surprise, but I feel like the little ones used to be Kinder Surprise, but everybody just called it a Kinder Egg, but now that's a Kinder Joy, and this is a Kinder Surprise, so I don't know what this is. I'm hoping to get a rather large toy inside this egg, and it's Percy Pig Choc Corn. So it's basically pink popcorn covered in melted pink chocolate, pink Smarties and Percy Pigs, which if I was only eating pink food, how perfect would this have been for it? It's just one giant piece. Are you just meant to break this off? Oh, here we go. Okay, wait, and it's stuck to my fingers. Oh no, so many things going on. I've got chocolate melting, crunchy smarty, soft airy popcorn, so many things. And then just the overriding flavor is strawberry, strawberry chocolate. Tastes very, very good but really kind of sickly. Like, it's a lot of sweet strawberry flavor. I'm gonna eat my, my little Percy pig and then we're gonna open this Kinder Surprise. No, I'm not. I don't think my jaw can handle that. Uh-uh. I don't think I can bite that. I don't think I can eat this. Final item for this video, we have a Kinder Surprise. Let's open this up. I want to open it nicely so that my, oh, you can open it really nicely. It's almost like a little Easter egg, isn't it? Look at this egg. I think I've done it. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at the size of that Kinder Egg surprise. Wow. Kinder chocolate is always the one. I think I've got a Christmas turkey or an eagle. Maybe it's an eagle, is that an eagle? How fast can I build a children's toy? What is going on here? That can't be right. It doesn't seem very sturdy. Oh, oh, we've got some form of situation happening. And then we're just gonna pop the top on. Are we? Ah, I've broken him. <laughs> Woo! This is my Christmas bird. I can also put his wings away. Oh, you can snap his wings off and he flies. I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you found some Christmas treats that you're intrigued about, that you might go to the shops and try this Christmas. Let me know in the comments if you've tried any of the Christmas foods yet, what you really enjoyed, if there's anything I should try. And uh, yes, I'm gonna eat my Kinder Bueno. And I'll see you next time. Bye.